Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in today's tutorial, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew turtle neck blouse with double layer flay. So if you are interested in learning how to achieve your turtle neck and this form of turtle neck, we are going to have a bow at the turtle neck and we are also going to have our double layer flay. So what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this? You have your shoulder measurement, bust, waist, hip and your gown length now don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement so our shoulder measurement is 18 we have 18 divided by 2, we have 9. Our bust is 44. 44 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 13 inches. Our waist is 42 inches. We have 42 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12.25. Our hip is 49 inches. We have 49 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 14. 0.25. Our top length is 22. We'll go ahead and add 2 inches for our sewing allowance. We have 24 inches. Now, in order for you to achieve your turtle neck double layer flay, it's also very necessary or important for you to know your half length. Half length simply means the measurement from your shoulder level to 2 inches above your navel. So that is where we are going to have our basic measurement and why for the lower part of our blouse we are going to have our flay, right? So if what I have now from my shoulder to my half length is 18 inches, so if we have half length to be 18 inches, that's what this means is that for the basic block now, where we have our basic top, which is going to be a like our basic top, we have 18 inches. You go ahead now and add one inch for your sewing allowance, you have 19 inches. So in order for you to know the number of inches we use for the lower part, which is your flay, you go ahead now and deduct. So for the flay part now, you go ahead and deduct your 22 minus 18 inches. So you go ahead and deduct was 22, which happens to be your top length minus your half length, which is 18 inches. And we are going to have what? 4 inches. Now you go ahead now and add your sewing allowance to it. Go ahead now and add your sewing allowance to it. We have 6 inches. So for the length of the flay, we are going to have 6 inches for the length of the flay. And for the half length, we are going to have 19 inches. So because we are going to attach the flay to the upper part, we we'll also go ahead and add 1 inch to our flay allowance so that we will add it to the upper part. Go ahead now and add 1 inch. So for the flay now, we are going to have 7 inches. And for the half length, we are going to have 19 inches. So basically, these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your turtle neck with your double layer sleeve. So please feel free to drop your questions in the course of this tutorial in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. Trainings are available, both online training and physical training. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notifications once a video pop up so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial achieve our eye neckline with double pleats so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurement so we have shoulder to we have shoulder to our arm oh eight and half shoulder to bust nine shoulder to under bust 13 and then we have our waistline so the next thing we are going to do basically now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurements okay so for our dart measurements now we have four and half on our waistline we have four and half for the dart line 
we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together once we are done with that on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides now you connect it to your bust line go ahead and connect it to your bust line now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement which is nine inches our bust measurement and then we'll go ahead and mark our waist measurement which is this of our arm o curve which comes in the set we'll connect our shoulder line to our bust line so this is basically what we have now because what we want to achieve is a very high neck blouse we'll go ahead now and mark our shoulder the wideness of our arm o we have three and a half and for the depth i'm going to make use of two inches yes now we are making use of two inches because it's eye neck okay it's a very high neck blouse two inches and we'll go ahead now and open up the middle point so we mark where we want our midpoint to get up to so i'm going to make it of five inches now on our arm o curve go ahead and mark half inch on your arm o curve and then you connect it to your arm o line so this is basically what it looks like very easy so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out and guys this is basically what we are going to have okay this is basically what we are going to have for the front blocks so guys i'm making use of this african print and african prints are available so i'm going to go ahead now and fold my fabric into two so guys now we want to cut out the back block so the first thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance and i'm going to make use of two inches for my zip allowance so i'll go ahead now and connect my lines together so once i'm done with that i'll basically go ahead and mark my basic line just like the way we did for the front block where we have shoulder to arm or shoulder to bust and shoulder to under bust so I'll go ahead now and connect my lines together. Go ahead now and mark our dart measurement. We have 4.5. We'll go ahead and connect the lines together. On our waistline, we'll mark half inch on both sides. Mark half inch on both sides and then we'll connect it to our bust line. So once we are done with that, We'll go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements, our bust measurements, and our waist measurements. So, pattern masters are available at our store. Go ahead and use your pattern masters to connect your bust to waist and your waist to your shoulder measurements. Now, because what we want to achieve is a high neckline or a turtle neck. We'll go ahead now and mark the wideness of our arm of our neckline which is three and a half and for the depth we are going to make use of one inch because it's basically a very high um neckline so we'll go ahead now and connect this together so on our arm or we'll go ahead and mark half inch and connect it to our neckline so once they are done, this is basically what we have. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. So we're going to head now to fold our fabric into two. Once you are done with that, you place your pattern on it and then you cut this out. So once I'm done with that, I'll basically go ahead and place my pattern this way and then I'll cut this out. So after cutting it out, this is what we have. We have two pieces for the back block. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside and cut the lower piece. And now what we want to achieve now is to cut out the lower part where we have our double layer flay. Okay. So I'm going to be cutting out the lower flay, which happens to be the longer form of flay first. And then we'll cut the upper one, which is the short form of the flay. So my fabric now i've gone ahead to fold it into four basically so once you fold your fabric into four the next thing you are going to do now is to place your tape measure this way to ensure that you have 
place your tape measure this way to ensure that what you have is equal to your waistline okay so you just go ahead now and mark what you have once you are done once you are done you go ahead and place your tape measure this way you take it all the way round you take it all the way round and then you make sure you also take in your tape measure to confirm that what you have here is equal to your waist measurement so once you are done with that the next thing we are going to do now is to measure our flay length so our flay length now is eight inches this is where we have eight inches you mark your flay length which is eight inches go ahead and place your tape measure this way we have 15 and half we'll take it this way mark 15 and a half and then we'll take it this way and mark 15 and a half once you are done with that you go ahead now and connect the lines together so this is basically what we are going to have for the lower form of the flay now the question is how will you cut the upper flay or what inches should you use to cut the upper flay so once i'm done with this now i'll go ahead and show you guys how to achieve that so after cutting out the lower flay, this is what we have, which is about 8 inches. So we go ahead now and set that aside. Now the next thing we are going to do now is to make sure that what we have here also is equal to our waist measurement. So go ahead and place your tape measure this way. Mark what you have and then you confirm what you have here. So we have 7 inches. I'll go ahead and take it this way now. And then I have seven inches. So you go ahead now and connect it because this part also is going to fit into the waistline. Now for the lower part of the flay, you will go ahead now and measure what you have for your flay length. So for our flay length now, we have nine inches for the lower part. We have nine inches. Now your upper part is usually shorter than like the main one. So you should stop somewhere around the mid area of your lower um flay so if you have nine inches the half of nine inches is four and a half inches so basically now our flay should stop somewhere around here which is four and a half so we'll go ahead now and add one inch to it for sewing allowance and then we have five inches so at this point now go ahead and mark your five inches place your tape measure this way to check out what you have we have 12 take your tape measure this way mark your 12 inches and then you take it all to this part and then you mark your 12 inches once you are done with that you go ahead now and connect the lines together so you will see that this form of flay is smaller so i'll go ahead now and cut out this point and also cut out what we have here once you are done this is basically what we have so you will see that the lower flay is longer and then we have the smaller flay we stop somewhere around here so this is basically how to cut out your double layer flay so if you want to have three layers flay you just go ahead and divide your length by three and so you will have the first layer the second layer and the third layer so we'll go ahead now and cut out our lining so guys now this is what we have for the back block we've gone ahead to cut out our lining for the two pieces so all you have to do now is to place your lining this way all you have to do now is to place your lining this way go ahead and stitch your neckline stitch this other part where you have your zip and then you stitch the side okay so by the time you are done basically you just go ahead and turn it so you also be doing the same for the second piece of the back block so this is what we have for the front block so you go ahead now and place your lining this way go ahead and place your lining this way so once you do that now you go ahead now and stitch your neckline and then you stitch the sides and you turn it so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like right now to turn our lining you can see what we have and the back is properly lined so this is what we have now for the front block for the back block also we've also gone ahead to turn it also with our lining so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and place your back block on your front block this way now pin where you have your zip so that you don't add your zip allowance to it so why when you pin it you now go ahead now and use your bust measurement and your waist measurement to couple this up so by the time you are done now you are going to have a single piece like this 
Okay, let me put it this way. You are going to have a single piece like this, which we are going to attach our double layer flay to it. Now, for our flay, this is the first flay and this is the second one. So we've gone ahead also to basically turn it with our lining. So what you are going to do now is to go ahead and place both flay this way. So you go ahead now and place both flay this way and you basically attach your flay to the lower part of this blouse, okay? What our double layer flay look like. You can see and then we have our basic block. So basically all you have to do now is just to attach it this way to your upper bodies. Basically just attach your flay to your upper bodies and you can see what it looks like already so once i'm done with that the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our bow at the front okay and in order for us to do that let me go ahead first and attach this so if you want to have like a key split effect all you have to do is let me zoom it in if you want to have a key split effect all you have to do is to pleat it this way okay and then you pleat it this way You can see what it looks like so you can see your kiss please that is if you want your flay to have kiss please just go ahead and please one to the right hand side please one to the left the other part now you place it to this side and then you place it this way so you can see how what it looks like I can see how you know how it gives us this wave effect because of the kiss pleating so I'll go ahead now and do that it's just now we've gone ahead now to attach our flay and you can see what it basically looks like you can see the first layer and then we have the second layer so if you want yours to have like a third layer you can see go ahead and add that now the next thing we are going to do now how wavy it is so if your flay is actually correct it's automatically going to give you this wave shape so now we want to attach our cape at the front. So what we are going to do now is to go ahead and measure our neckline. So make sure you take your tape measure around your neckline this way. Round your neckline. So we have 13 inches. So on this other part too, we are going to have 13 inches, right? We are going to have 13 inches on this part and 13 inches on this part. So I will go ahead now and add 2 inches to it. So I'm going to have 15 inches. So I'll go ahead now and... Now I have my piece of fabric folded into two. I will go ahead now and measure my 15 inches. So because you are going to tie it at the front, so you just add as many inches as possible so that when you tie it at the front, you are going to have like a nice bow. So for the wideness of this, it totally depends on how wide or how tiny you want it to be. So I'm making use of 3 inches for my wideness and on a double fold, I'm making use of 22 inches. So I'll go ahead now and cut it out into two pieces. Basically going to take one part, starting from the back block. So you go ahead and stitch this part. Starting from the back block, you stitch it. Starting from the back block now, you go ahead and stitch it this way. Okay, go ahead and stitch it this way up to this part, up to the front neckline. So by the time, this is what you have. So by the time it flips this way, you can see our band. And then we have this extra piece, which you are just going to go ahead and tie that. So you can see what it basically looks like. So we'll go ahead now and just attach this now to this part of our neckline. So guys, this is basically what we have. So you can see the neckline and the bow effect. Now for the lower side of our blouse, you can see our double layer flaky split. So let me know what you would love to rock with this blouse. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye